Hi, Sue de Blasio from Through Sue's Eyes. I wanted to talk today a little bit about how um, chronic illness and autoimmune disease, which is a chronic illness, uh, lots of times are referred to as invisible diseases. Um, and that would be because people don't see it on the outside. Lots of times on the outside we look good. We look normal or fairly normal. And people say to you, oh, you look good. And I say, thank you. But at that time, I may not be feeling well. And I just don't say it. Because sometimes people just don't respond. They don't know how to respond to that. Or, you know, they are tired of listening to you know, I don't feel good again today, or, you know, people that don't have a chronic illness or autoimmune or any of those, it's really hard to understand the person that has it or how they feel or, yeah, it's ongoing and maybe every day it's something, but then there are days where I feel good and, and have energy, but then there are there are days that I just feel down and out and I can't do anything and I, I feel sick. You know, it's, it's hard and it's, if, unless you have it, it's hard to relate to it. And it's not anybody's fault outside that do not have chronic illness and are autoimmune. It's just that, you know, we don't always speak about it and we do need to speak up more about it because we, I think as a community of people with chronic illnesses, we need to find a place where we belong. I have found that place. I have found a group of people that are, are great and I feel like I belong finally, that people have empathy and understanding for what I'm going to, and I have the same for them. And to us, we understand that other people don't see us the same way. So I just wanted people to know that if someone is a little cranky, out of sorts, or if someone may not look well or different, whatever, you don't know what's going on with their lives, and it, and we really shouldn't judge. I know it's hard when somebody's, if you're at a checkout and somebody's cranky and blah, 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 and, but you don't know. You don't know. Maybe that person has a chronic illness, but they have to work. Or maybe, maybe they are just having a bad day. But I think a little empathy goes a long way. And I hope that you subscribe and I hope that you listen to my videos because I really, I really believe that a community of people with chronic illness is good because you are in a place where you belong. And hopefully the word will get out to other people and they'll start to recognize that we're, a, there's a lot of us, 133 million Americans suffer from chronic illness. And that's a lot of people. So hopefully it'll get recognized, more research will be done on the, the more rare forms of chronic illness or autoimmune uh, disease. And some cures will be, or at least things that will put us into remission will be discovered. So that's really my message today. It's not long and I just hope that you subscribe and I hope you have your input also uh, and give comments. And I hope that this day is one of your good days.